Hello friends, welcome to another video from Shomu's Biology and in this cell signaling lecture we are going to talk about HER receptor and cell signaling related to the HER receptor which is linked to the breast cancer. So HER septin is a monoclonal antibody that can prevent the HER signaling that generally leads to the cell growth and proliferation and can cause the breast cancer to form. So let's talk about the HER receptor mediated signaling where we'll first discuss about the basics of her receptor signaling, the components of her receptor signaling, and then we'll see the her receptor signaling animation and how exactly the Herceptin prevents the her receptor to get activated and to prevent cancer. So the first things first is the signaling molecule used in her receptor mediated signaling. These are growth factors, epidermal growth factor, fibroblast growth factors. So generally these are insulin-like growth factors and the receptor is insulin-like growth factor receptors. One of this human uh, growth factor receptor is known as HER2. Then the response is mediated for the cell growth, proliferation and division. Inhibition can also be achieved by the monoclonal antibody known as Herceptin. Now let's look at the HER receptor mediated cell signaling pathway animation in an eukaryotic cell. The process start with the multiple types of receptor on the cell surface. Let's start with EGFR dimer, epidermal growth factor receptor dimer. This epidermal growth factor receptor dimer once bound to the ligand or signaling molecule or the epidermal growth factor from outside of the cell gets phosphorylated to the inner cytosolic site and then it activates RAS protein. Then the RAS protein activates RAF protein. RAF activates MEC and MEC activates ERK and finally the ERK goes inside the nucleus and can cause the activation of specific genes, transcription of specific genes that allow the cell to grow and divide. This pathway is very similar to that of the MAP kinase pathway and this is itself a MAP kinase pathway where we have uh, a RAS is the activator in the cytosol and then we have RAF also known as MAP kinase kinase kinase, MEC known as MAP kinase kinase and ERK known as MAP kinase. Now let's look at the second type of receptor, the HER receptor. It can be HER2 associated with EGFR. So generally dimerization of receptor is very important which is done by the ligand. In this case dimerization can be done between a HER2 receptor and one EGFR. So EGFR is denoted with the green color receptor and HER is denoted with the purple color receptor. Now again the signaling molecule binds cytosolic site phosphorylated and then we'll talk about another receptor pair that is both HER receptor pairs. It can be HER2, HER3 receptor pair, a heterodimer. So here is HER2, HER3 receptor pair. This can also be triggered and activated and upon activation again, the cytosolic site will be phosphorylated. And it can be HER2 with HER4 dimer. Again, HER2 is denoted with purple color and HER4 is denoted here with a dark a blue color. And again, upon binding of the signaling molecule, cytosolic site gets phosphorylated. Then it can be HER2 dimer, homodimer, where two HER2 molecules stick together. Again, signaling molecules binding causes the phosphorylation of the cytosolic site of the HER2 dimer, makes it active. Now, all this HER2 EGFR or HER2 HER3, HER2 HER4 or HER2 dimers, all of them signals the activated cytosolic domain, which is phosphorylated, is going to activate PI3K, this is a kinase. This kinase is going to activate AKT. And this AKT will further activate mTOR and other proteins that leads to the activation of transcription of specific genes in the nucleus that involves survival, proliferation and cell cycle progression and that results in the cellular growth and over activation of this pathway may lead to over cell growth and that can turn a normal cell into a tumor cell and with gaining mutations a normal cell can become a cancer cell. Now let's look at the process of how exactly the HER receptors lead to the cancer. First let's talk about a normal breast cancer cell. This is how the normal breast cancer cell looks like. On the surface of the cell we have HER2 receptor. And see the normal signaling process is going on utilizing the HER2 growth receptor. So we have normal signaling process. Limited HER2 receptors on the surface of the normal cell. 
Now let's talk about the abnormal HER2 plus breast cancer cell. So the cell is now cancerous. In cancerous cell, we'll see plenty of HER2 receptors, more than the normal amount of HER2 receptors a cell can handle. There are multiple HER2 receptors. And due to the increased number of HER2 receptors, the cell signaling for the growth and proliferation increases. So in this case, too many HER2 receptors send more signals causing cells to grow too quickly. Now the third situation where the Herceptin targets the HER2 receptor, a drug, a monoclonal antibody which prevents the dimerization of HER2 receptor. And in this case, you can see clearly that the Herceptin antibody prevents the dimerization of the HER2 receptors. In this case, either it can be HER2 dimer or HER2 with HER3, HER2 uh, with 4 and many other. So this interaction separates from HER2 to become dimerized. Thus, the cytosolic site phosphorylation is also prevented and it will sustain the cell from the further growth. That's how the HER septin mediated signaling works. I believe you have a clear idea about the HER septin or HER septin process and HER receptor mediated cell signaling. If this video is clear, then please hit the like button, share this video with your friends and subscribe to our channel to get more videos like that in future.